nope this is not another sports throwback thursday video not a flashback friday neither but this is more of a nba playoff memories and this particular one it was the very first year that i was watching nba playoffs the year 2000 and I decided to talk about this game a little bit because it is one of those interesting first play, first round matchups of that year that luck played into factor, but it was also an intriguing series to a certain extent. I remember, and this game that I'm talking about is game three between the San Antonio Spurs versus Phoenix Suns in the year 2000. I remember this game was on a Saturday. They played around 2.30, 3, 3.30, around there, p.m. Eastern time. So actually it was either 3 or, or 3.30 p.m. here in New York. So that means in Phoenix, Arizona, that must have been like 12 or 12.30. I remember this game was on, televised on NBC and it was a triple header game. The first one was Miami versus Detroit, which Miami swept Detroit. And then it was this one. And mind you, this is a series that there is no Tim Duncan, there is no Jason Kidd. Tim, they were both out with injuries. Had Tim Duncan would have been sued up, I think San Antonio would have won that series because they were the reigning defending champions. San Antonio in this series, they look completely lost without Tim Duncan. And mind you, this Phoenix Suns team, this was a cool Phoenix Suns team, by the way. You had uh, Penny Hardaway, one of my favorite players that I didn't get to watch during his prime. Um, I got to see him play, but this was already when when he lost all of his explosiveness and things like that. So I got to see the Phoenix Suns penny, but not the Orlando Magic penny. So the Suns had Penny, Jason Kidd, Sean Marion, Ronnie Rogers, Clifford Robinson, and the veteran um, Kevin Johnson. This is the only season I got to see Kevin Johnson play, by the way. This was a fun Suns team. And even though Penny Hardaway was not the Orlando Magic Penny Hardaway, but in this game, he was their best player on the floor. And he contributed. He didn't have the same quickness that he did when he was with Orlando, but he was still putting in work in this game. David Robinson, at the age of 34, he had a good game. He had um, 37 points and 13 rebounds, so that's impressive for his age at the time. But this game was all Phoenix, especially that fourth quarter. I feel like this game was the best game of the series. Game one was good as well. It came down to the final minute of the game, which the Suns won 72 to 70. Interesting, no scoring game, huh? Compared to today, is like 200 almost. But um, game three, in my opinion, was the best game of the series because of the level of the excitement, the crowd, um, the way Phoenix battled in that fourth quarter, Penny Hardaway taking over. Um, and again, the, this Suns team was resilient. They were resilient. And Penny Hardaway, he had a triple-double, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 13 assists. But man, it was so fun to watch playoff games on NBC in those days. I was fortunate to watch um, NBA on NBC from the fall of 99 through the end, which was 2002. And I didn't even know it was the end of N NBA on NBC until the following year when the postseason arrived that I saw these games were televised on ABC. I'm like, huh? Like, what, what happened? But then I was... I found out way too late about what happened and um, 
I don't know, hopefully someday um, NBA comes back to NBC, but if it does, I hope they have that same theme song or something better. I just can't imagine something way less than that, but I don't know, Th things are way different now. But um, this game three was, was exciting, it was very exciting to watch. As a eight year old kid, soon turning nine, man, um, great memories. That year, 2000 NBA playoffs was fun. 2001 was good as well, but 2000, my very first year watching the NBA playoffs was magnificent. And in this game, um, I'm glad I was able to see Penny Hardaway, but again, I wish I would have seen Penny Hardaway through my TV screen when he was, uh, when he was with Orlando, but Again, I was way too young. I didn't watch basketball until late 99, like I said. And his time in Orlando was during the mid 90s. But um, great performance by Penny Hardaway, triple double. Ronnie Rogers, underrated player. Clifford Robinson, another good player. Sean Marion, a young Sean Marion was um, essential. If they had the Kevin Johnson from 93 or any Anywhere between 93 to 96, um, that would have been great. Um, and if Jason Kidd would have been on the floor, um, even better. But the Suns ended up winning the series against the Suns, 3-1. to one. And they went on to face the Lakers, which was Penny versus his old teammate Shaq with the Lakers. Um, even though the Suns lost in five games, but... If the Suns could have some way, somehow, matched up with the Lakers that year, it would have been much better. Even if Jason could have played in that series, by the way, but it wasn't enough. The Lakers that year, they were just too much. Way too much um, firepower for the Suns that year. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it feels great to take it back, talk a little um, NBA playoff memories of certain games that brings back memories and stood out to me and this was one of those and hey who knows i might make more of these now that we're in playoff time in the nba um there's a lot of good um playoff games that i've seen from from 2000 to present so let's see how far i can go with this shall be interesting but yeah it all started in 2000 nba on nbc Please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe. And may God bless you all.